Uh, as Hillary's lead pulls away from Donald in the vote total, it's, it's, it's even though we have uh, hints of totalitarian government now, there is um, incredible uh, soaringness and in the angels singing that, that we can be free from um, oppressive right-wing Supreme Court justices and... Um, it, uh, and live cleaner from the fossil fuel pollution that Donald has promised to expand. Uh, so we want to focus on the most important goals. This the selection was to protect um, America going forward somewhere. Okay, now voter suppression is not the American greatness that we thought Donald was referring to. But in order for his grip on power to to be held, we have we have to own as a nation that we would leave one in every 50 some voters would have had to stay at home to not give Hillary a lead and a mandate so that who are these one in 50 some people? They're the swing voters. They're the only ones that were available. And they broke for Hillary. Do you see that on her side of her totals? That is why we can't let a Republican uh, administration take over the Office of Science and Technology policy because we're already having a lot of trouble keeping up with um, conservation initiatives. And while Obama has been a leader on many climate subjects, you know, it hasn't all been easy breezy. And, and he's kept up with, you know, modest transportation, energy efficiency improvements, and um, <sighs> less coal, but expanded natural gas, as we know. And I think the people really gave a mandate to the most democratic platform of ever, which Hillary did a decent to more than, uh, she did a good job cobbling together all of her pieces to present at least a wherewithal. I mean, we trusted Hillary. The Americans should not be misrepresented and we, we don't, we won't be. We won't be listening. Like, I'm just being... Don't willingly... We didn't will this Donald administration. And the Republicans know this. This, this. this is like why we have to be in touch with every Republican legislature to say, are you guys okay with being complicit to this new, um, profound uh, wave of voter suppression that is, is a democracy killing election. I'm calling this a democracy apocalypse because if we don't count these votes this time, how do we expect these people to come back in a system that's already by a threat? And, and you guys think Trump's caretaker of a greatness in America when, listen, you know, the Republicans did a serious job doing a campaign and convincing people, but the um, Democrats did a bigger job and did a better job and attracted more people, and you can't run for president. You weren't want running for, for, um, for unauthorized <laughs> uh, shit, dude. Um, you weren't running for that. You weren't running for... Um, <sighs> This is how flawed we expect our system to be this flawed and for America to take it. No, Donald, and you want better too. You want better for the democracy. Your 13 year old is growing up in a democracy that that the people, people's majority, the majority is not heard. Like, that's disgusting. I mean, that's disgusting and it is not cool to be a big shot show, to make a big shot show when the people authorized, when scores more citizens used their rights to offer, to, to authorize Hillary Clinton to occupy the Oval Office versus the people who authorized. So this is new, dude. Stop, stop being scary, America. Do not go with this. 
the American people did not will this into being, everyone should be out protesting Trump. Okay, everyone. This is unprecedented, uncalled for, unauthorized, not mandated. We deserve a grown-up democracy. Louisiana does runoffs. We can examine how Don's much fewer voters add up to a whole lot more electoral votes than Hillary's a whole bunch more voters. And I think we all respect the power of the vote enough to see where people were using their power by and large. You have to fucking be a lunatic to proceed in this faulty direction. Um, please don't do it. Please, please, Congress, step in. Do not, Republicans, I liked a lot of your, I, I liked a lot of the discussions I had at the, your convention. I mean, I, I really have mostly, you know, I'd say I like disrespected about, I, I say like disrespected about, you know, some people, I mean, there were some disrespectful people at the convention. Very few. You know, if people don't want to talk about issues, then they just keep going. But the people who do are usually respectful. And, you know, mostly, like, mostly. So, like, how can we deal with each other on an equal, um, you know, how can we be upholding a sy system based on subjugation of others to maintain this is not good guys this is not good and it's it's stupid <sighs> okay i am a trump resign